and welcome back to another video. Today's video is in collaboration with Madam Glam. This is for their Think Pink campaign for breast cancer awareness. So I've already gone in on my hand dolly and um, done my acrylic base. I've filed it and shaped it. I used Nao Nails Rose Glow for that. And on the pinky here, I'm going in with Candy Cane and this is a beautiful holographic pink glitter gel polish. Applying one thin layer and then I'm going to go in on the index finger using a bit of that and it is a beautiful pink. Then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds under my LED lamp, two minutes for UV and then I'll go in and do a second coat on both of these nails. So whilst you're watching that bit, Madam Glam are doing a Think Pink campaign throughout October and for every gel polish sold from their Think Pink collection, $1 will be donated to charity to help fight breast cancer. Um, it's an amazing cause. Um, every year I join Madame Glam and do a collaboration with them. So please, please head over and check out their gorgeous colours on their Think Pink collection. Even if you just buy one, that's $1. Um, I'm not sure how much that is in pounds, I will find that out, but it's just raising a little bit extra money to help fight this horrible, horrible disease. So please, I will leave the link in the description box below for you. Just go and check it out, please, please, please. Um, so now they're set, I'm going to go in with Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Gel and apply it to both of those nails. This is just so that I don't get anything stuck to them whilst doing these two and I cured that for one minute under LED two minutes UV. Now on the ring finger I thought just push yourself Jode why not never done a <laughs> boxing glove in my life using acrylic but obviously the boxing glove signifies the fight against breast cancer so I really wanted to get it on there. So again I'm using Nail Nails Rose Glow for this and my CJP Big Boy Brush. And I take my first bead and I'm working on, um, this is like the knuckle part of the glove. And then I'm just going in and building this and adding a little bit more acrylic. And this time bringing it up a little bit further to where the wrist strap would be on a boxing glove. I'm probably not going to be able to, um, like, describe this very well at all. Um, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just building and building and building until I'm happy. And then here is where the wrist strap will be. So I apply my bead and I bring that over the rest of it. At the minute it's looking horrific, I know. And then I'm going to flatten the top edge of that. And also the sides of it. And I'm just going to bring that down. And keep building until I'm happy and I use the tip of my brush to indent the line um, where a wrist strap would like wrap around if that makes sense um, on an actual boxing glove and then I'm gonna go in and just build that a little bit more making sure that the edge of it is nice and round because obviously we don't have square boxing gloves and you can see it is starting to take shape now. I was a little bit happy with this, to be fair. I don't really do stuff like this, but I thought I'll push myself. I mean, it actually came out all right. Once it's got a little bit of paint on it, looks it does look better. <laughs> so I'm just going in and I just keep building until I'm happy. Using the tip of my brush to just clean that up a little bit. Make sure I blend it all in because obviously I'm not going to file this. And it is starting to take shape now. Then I will go in and just make some um, indents in the nail where like the creases on a boxing glove would be. Um, and I just use the tip of my brush for that and just score that nail. And I'll just keep building this until I'm happy with what it looks like um, and making sure that it does look 3D and it's not too flat to the nail. Um, 
obviously this isn't an everyday thing that you'd wear. Well, some people might actually. Um, but I just wanted to get it on there. I just thought it'd look really cool. So I just keep building until I'm happy. And then I'll go on and do the thumb piece to the glove. So for the thumb piece, I take a much smaller bead and I drain the back of my brush to remove excess monomer because I don't want this to sort of like flop about the nail and merge into everything. So I drain the back of my bead and then I'm gonna place the thumb piece. And now you can see it's coming together. It's starting to look more like a glove. <laughs> I was actually really happy with it and I just blend that in to the other acrylic and then I'll just keep working with it until I'm happy and then I will let this set before I go in and do any um, artwork on it so I'll be using some of Madame Glam's gel polishes um, on this as well. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to let that set and move on to the booby nail. So on the middle nail, we are going to create some big old boobies. And this is really easy to do. You just take your um, bead of acrylic. I do drain it slightly, but not too much. And I just place that on the nail, let it do its thing. And then I use my brush just to um, keep that in a nice shape. And then I do blend it into the other acrylic um as well and then again i'm just going to keep working with it until i'm happy and then i'll go in and apply another bead just to make it stand out a little bit more make it a little bit bigger <laughs> and i'll just keep working that until i'm happy with it and then i will move on and do the next booby So I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the next boob, picking up my bead, placing it on the nail and just using my brush to create that shape. At this point, I thought it looked more like a bum, but <laughs> yeah, no. Um, and yeah, I just keep working and working and working until I'm happy. Then I will let that set before going in with my gel polish design. Just go in with a little bit more here, just because I wasn't happy. It wasn't, yeah, I just wasn't happy with it. So I just went in with a little bit more acrylic. And then here I'm just sort of stabbing in to the wet acrylic with the tip of my brush to create like the cleavage area. So once they're set, I'm going in with my Indigo Nails Master Art 04 brush. This is a tiny, tiny nail art brush. And I am taking a bit of that and I'm going to draw in the bra on this set of titties and I just paint the section where the bra would be making sure that I get right around the edges of these boobs and right underneath as well and then I'll go in and do exactly the same on the other one So once I'm happy with that, we're going to pop that in the lamp and cure for 30 seconds. Once it's cured, I'm then going to go over that again, doing exactly the same thing and cure for a further 30 seconds. Then once that's cured, I'm taking the same brush and dipping it into a small amount of candy cane and just applying some glittery dots to the bra section. 
and we're going to create sort of a little leopard print cheetah print kind of design so once i've done that i cure for another 30 seconds and then i will take pure black from madame glam on the same brush again and i'm just going to do some random outline on the dots and then we're going to cure this again for 30 seconds Once that's cured, I'm going in with pure black again and just outlining the top of the bra section. Um, and then what I do, once I've done this, before I cure it, um, I just wipe off the excess black on my brush and then I go in around the cleavage and the top bit of the boobs um, and just do a little bit of shadowing, like literally the tiniest little amount just to give it a bit of definition and then cure for 30 seconds. Once that was cured, I went in and top coated the whole nail using Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Gel. Um, I annoyed myself a bit because I top coated over the boobs and I just, I didn't like it. So what I did is I went in, um, top coated the whole nail, then I wiped the brush um, off and just removed any of the excess top coat from the boobs cured for one minute under LED, two minutes UV. And then I did go in um, at the end, once I'd done the boxing glove and went over the boobs and the boxing glove with velvet matte top coat from Madame Glam. Um, and it did, it made such a difference. So you'll see that at the end, but now I'm going to move on to the boxing glove. So I'm taking the tiniest amount of pure black on my um, nail art brush and I'm just filling in where we made those indents to the nail. And this is just going to create sort of crease marks to the nail. Then I'm going to take the same brush and the black and just go in to um, this crease here that we made and Fill that in and cure this for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in with the same brush and applying some small dots of candy cane just like we did on the bra. Um, and this is to create our leopard print, cheetah print, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and then go in with pure black and just do random outlines on these little dots. And then again, I will cure that for another 30 seconds. Next, I'm taking a bit of that and I'm just going to colour in the wrist strap of the boxing glove, making sure that I get all the way around the top edge and the edges of it. And then again, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. Then to finish off, I'm going to go back in with the black and just outline that um, black stripe again. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And then I'm taking a bit of that and I'm going to create sort of like um, like a, the laces on the gloves. Um, but I'm going to have it coming out from the top and then the breast cancer symbol as well. So taking a bit of that, drawing that out, curing for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go back over the top and do exactly the same 
and then again cure for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go in and top coat this whole nail. So I went in with a smaller brush at first and top coated it over the boxing glove. And then I went around and top coated the rest of the nail, cured for 60 seconds and then obviously realised I didn't like it shiny. So I went in with Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat and top coated just over the boxing glove and the boobs and again cured for 60 seconds in LED, two minutes in UV. Then I went in and drew a small breast cancer awareness symbol using the pure black um, and I drew this on the index finger, cured for 30 seconds and then went over and top coated again using the no up top gel and then that's it. So I know this isn't my everyday video and not the everyday thing you'd wear but I think to a lot of people um, breast cancer awareness is such like a personal thing and I really just want to get the word out there raise awareness raise some money um and just kick cancer's ass like it's such a oh it just ruins so many people's lives um and yeah I just really wanted to do something to try and raise awareness so please 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 show your love and head over to Madame Glam's website, purchase even if it's just one from their Think Pink collection. You'll just be doing your little bit to help. Um, yeah, let's kick cancer's ass. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.